Can you tell us what brought you out here today? What uh, made you come out here? Uh, <laughs> um, I have said this many times before. Um, I came here today because this is a unique occasion in Western capitalism. These are our real leaders. These are the top brass of Western finance capitalism. The people who are here are the leaders uh, of the chairman, chief executives of the top banks, uh, of the biggest multinational companies, of UN institutions like the World Trade Organization and the World Bank, um, of several EU commissioners and politicians from the uh, US, Canada, UK and EU. Uh, these people only come not to have a cosy discussion because they have an agenda which they have got to fix with their peers in order to concert their plans in order as far as possible to preserve or enhance their own interests but having to take account of other people with power and how they can do that uh, together as far as possible. That's what it is all about. That's why it is entirely secret. They do meet uh, in Davos in Switzerland every year uh, the difference is that the press is present there and the public if they can get in. Uh, here they're half a mile away and we can't get any closer and you will not get any communique at the end. When Cameron goes to the EU Council along with the other uh, Prime Ministers of the other 27 EU states, he always, even though it is open to the press, it's reported by the press, excellently if I may say, uh, he always comes back to the House of Commons and is subject to an hour or more questioning by the leader of the opposition and every other MP who asks him a question in the House of Commons, usually on a Monday. Uh, if that happens with the EU Council, which we all know about, and which I have to say is not always on the most important issues, what about this, which is something very serious? Capitalism is in a very bad state. We've already had a triple dip. The Eurozone is continuing to go down. The EU shows no sign of uh, recovery. In, uh, of recovery. Uh, the United States has made some recovery, but is beginning to slip a bit. China is still uh, slipping far below their normal rate of growth. Capitalism is in a very serious state. These people are meeting to decide what to do yeah. about their system. There's been a lot of secrecy. There's been a lot, of, a lot of suppression of the press when it comes to Bilderberg and their annual meetings. Uh, when you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't hide it. But when you're doing things in darkness, you can only wonder what's happening. What, what do you wonder could possibly be happening in this meeting? Well, of course, I, I entirely agree that uh, there is only secrecy which is enforced. Um, I mean, it's important to realise this is held in Watford, which is, uh, those of us from the UK will know that's not the most obvious place. If you're having an international conference, it is almost always in London. Why is it in Watford? Well, it's probably a bit more difficult to get to. Uh, secondly, the place is very carefully guarded by the police, as we all know, when we try to get in. Uh, and they are paid for by the Bilderberg Association, which is a charity, a charity, yeah. uh, which is paying for local security to keep us out. So they're very determined about it. Now, the only reason is because they are talking very frankly, very candidly about their problems, about how they see uh, them being resolved, about what they think the future of capitalism should be, and saying to our political leaders, such as George Osborne, who is here, Kenneth Clark, perhaps rather surprisingly, um, what uh, they, the leaders of uh, private markets in Western capitalism, what they believe government should be doing. That's what they're there for. But they may be embarrassing if that was given publicity. That's why they want to keep it secret.